Okay. By the end of class today, you guys are going to be able to answer some questions about a character that we created together in Espanol. Make it a good one. So here's what I want you to do. Well, first thing, let's hire a new salud person. So Sophia has resigned from her position. And if you are interested in being the person that will go, clase uno, dos, tres, every time someone sneezes, unless they sneeze more than three times, in which case, sorry, they're just out of health from us. Huh. Please raise your hand. All right, we've got two here. All right, we've got three here. So please point to, keep your hand off if you're interested. If you're not really interested, then I don't want you to do it. Point to the person you think would be best for this position. Carter, point to somebody, please. Help me. Un aplauso para Bersha. All right, Bersha, you can accept this position. Are you sure? Are you really, really sure? Okay. All right, we also need to hire for an artist for today. Listen, hold on, let me tell you more first. We're not hiring anyone until I finish telling you what the artist needs to do. The artist needs to be able to draw quickly, like you'll have 15 minutes to make our drawing. You need to fill the whole page, the paper over there, with the drawing of the character that we are going to create. And you need to be able to draw it like cartoon style. Okay, so it can't be super realistic in real life, but it just needs to be able to be done quickly, and cartoony, and big, take up the whole shape. Even though we might say that it's microscopic in size, it needs to be big on the piece of paper. Like that watch back there that the other seventh grade made, that is microscopic. But it's big in the picture because we need to be able to see it. Okay? And then, you're, once you, we have hired an artist, we're going to hire an assistant who's going to help color. So the artist will be focused on drawing, and the outline needs to be done in black marker, like you see that the, the watch was there, um, so that it's nice and bold. And then the coloring needs to be in pencil, colored pencil, or in crayon. I would recommend crayon because you don't have to sharpen those. You can just like get the paper off of it and keep going. Because you're not going to have time. You're not going to have time to go over to the sharpener and sharpen the pencil while we're creating this, and you only have 15 minutes to do it. So raise your hand if you're interested in being the artist who draws the creature, thing, character, Jada, Lockport, Lockport, Gracias. Please point to someone that you think would do a good job on this. Un aplauso para Crystal. All right, good. So we got this position today. All right. <laughs> Crystal, you need to choose an assistant to help you color. You get to pick. Okay, well, you don't have to pick if you don't want to. I can have them. Okay, raise your hand if you'd like to be the person that helps Crystal color. But you got to be coloring quickly and in the right colors that we decide in class. Okay, now keep your hand up, but the rest of you and those who your hands up point to someone who you think would be good at it. Now, Crystal, you can look around and see who they're all pointing to, and then that might help you make a decision on who you want to hire. So, Crystal, go ahead and pick someone. Jada? Also, what about Jada? All right, Jada, do you accept this position of the assistant artist? Why didn't you, why didn't you apply for the real artist? <gasps> okay. All right, so you guys can head over to your to your art station there. Oh, no, no, no. Here's what I'm going to have you guys do. When we're creating this character, remember it's going to start with an object, just like the ones that you are making do. Okay, so it needs to start with something normal, a shoe, a sock, a hat, a football. Okay, so what I would like you to do is I would like you to take about 30 seconds and brainstorm with people sitting nearby you at least five different possible objects. But listen! They can't be things that are brand names. Hydroflask? Nope. That's a brand name. If you wanted to do something like that, you should say water bottle. Okay? Uh, chapstick? Brand name. Lip balm. Okay? Um, anything that's like weird or like popular culture, like probably not going to pick water bottles still, sorry, because I want us to create our own character, not something that already has this meaning behind it out there. 
Okay, so think of like regular objects like watches or cheese or pizza or whatever that might make interesting characters. Talk to the people around you, go. Oh, what's the problem, Daisy? 
combine the two together? You're making like all these complicated things, guacamole with green toenails. Yeah. What do we do when we are creating this together? What things do we decide? What types of things, those of you that did these last year, what types of things do we decide when we create these together, James? We add details. We add details together. So when you are giving me an idea, I just want the object. Tomato, avocado, can of soda, soup can, can, watch, sweater, shoe, sock, watermelon. I don't know, just that. Okay. All right, I'm going to start on this side now. An avocado or muffin. Muffin avocado. Two cherries go together. Avocado. Two cherries. Oh, yeah, two cherries stuck together that don't like each other. Sugar. Candy corn. Avocado. Chicken white. Avocado. Miren el aguacate. El aguacate. Miren el aguacate. El aguacate está en la clase. No hables. Miren. Aguacate. Es un aguacate normal. Así? Sí o no? No. Es un aguacate muy pequeño? No. Es un aguacate grande? Sí. Es un aguacate grandísimo? Sí. Es un aguacate enorme? Sí. Ok, clase, miren el aguacate enorme. Oh, mira el aguacate. Bishop, mira el aguacate. Caleb, mira el aguacate. No, aquí. Aquí en la clase. Oh. Aquí. Y piensan en el aguacate. El aguacate. Momento. Necesito ayuda. Para mover el aguacate. Okay. So you get that side of it. I'm going to move it over by the desk there. Ready? Okay. Put it, put it down. Okay. Gracias, Jaime. Piensan en el aguacate. Miren el aguacate. El aguacate es azul. Sí o no? No. no.
opinion. I'm telling you a fact. Un aguacate normal, verde aquí y café en el centro. El aguacate en la clase es normal? Sí. No. Oh. Es el opuesto. Verde en el centro y café. No. No. Sí. no. opuesto que normal es verde en el centro y café alrededor. Sí. Oh. Oh. Sí, 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 sí. I'm telling you this. Sí. You said no, it's not normal. So now that's all we're left with. Sí. Y clase. Mira en el aguacate. El aguacate interesante. Y piensan en la cara. La cara del aguacate. La cara está en el centro, aquí? No. La cara está arriba? No. Sí. La cara está abajo? No. Sí. Arriba? Sí. Al centro? No. No. The Tuesday practice team tonight from 3 15 to 5 suit up, wait in the gym lobby until pickup is finished. We also have Eco Club meeting tonight after school in the science room. Uh, also, Mrs. Holtz has a note here. Said in all of her 700 years of teaching, she had never had a student type as well as Alexis Nelson. Alexis typed 44 words per minute with a 98% accuracy. Mrs. Holt is simply delighted. Congratulations, Alexis. Birthday is today. We have Aileen Katianda. Happy birthday, Aileen. This is welcome back to the day. Let's talk about machinery. The combine harvester was invented in the United States by Hiram Moore in 1834. Earlier versions were pulled by teams of horses, donkeys, or mules. Moore invented a full-scale version in 1839. The name of the combine harvester was derived from its combining two separate operations involved in harvesting, reaping, threshing, and winnowing, all into one single process. Mr. Schoenauer's wisdom for the day. If you take elderberry syrup in the morning to boost your immunity, you will get a marshmallow to wash it down. That sounds like a real sweet deal. Core virtue quote of the day. Tolerance is the oil which takes the friction out of life. Have a great day, LCA. Okay, vamos a votar. La cara está arriba o en el centro o abajo. Arriba. Al centro. Abajo. Okay, clase. El, la cara, la cara del aguacate está arriba en el aguacate. Okay, mira en el aguacate. ¿El aguacate pequeño? No. no. ¿El aguacate grande? No. Sí. ¿El aguacate grandísimo? No. Sí. ¿El aguacate oh. enorme? Sí. No. sí. These are facts. We've already decided these things. They're not up for debate anymore. El aguacate es enorme. Y es de los colores verde y café, pero no es normal. Y la cara está arriba en el aguacate. Piensan en el aguacate enorme y diferente. ¿El aguacate está feliz? ¿Sí o no? Sí. No. ¿Está triste? No. ¿Está emocionado? No. Sí. Está enojado. Sí. No. Entonces, miren el aguacate. El aguacate está emocionado. Okay. okay. I want you to take a moment and brainstorm with the people sitting nearby you. Why is our enormous, strange, different colored avocado so excited? Go. <laughs> Oh, I love it like
I don't know.
enorme o grande? Enorme. Enorme. Y el aguacate es muy especial. Tiene los colores normales. Pero el centro no es café. ¿De qué color es el centro? Verde. verde. Es verde. Está emocionado o muy emocionado? Muy, muy emocionado. Salud. Clase 1, 2, 3. Salud. Salud. Sure. Gotta like. Finish strong. Uh, you were like, class eight, uno, dos, tres. <laughs> Try the opposite. Class eight, uno, dos, tres. Okay. Salud. No, we don't need to do it because I don't want to see you again. Está muy emocionado. ¿Por qué? Es diferente. No es el guacamole. Guacamole. Recibió su licencia. Licencia. Licencia de conductor. Licencia de conductor. Y está. No. Es muy. Also. All right, I'm going to read this to you all, all together, and then we are going to say what it means in English. You guys really need it. It's like two more minutes, and then we got to be done. Okay, here we go. Título. El aguacate diferente. Hay un aguacate enorme. Y el aguacate es muy especial. Tiene los colores normales, pero el centro no es café, es verde. Está muy emocionado porque es diferente. No es el guacamole. Y recibió su licencia de conductor, de conducir, I think that is. Licencia de conducir. Y es muy alto. All right, in English, let's make sure we know what we're talking about here. Starting with title. Uno, dos, tres. E 
EO at the end with the accent is past tense, so it received. So start with that. It received its license of driving and is very tall. There you go. Did anyone notice anything about the way Spanish is put together or about the words or what we wrote that is interesting or they want to teach the class? This is not like things that you just randomly remembered from like years ago. This is like things that we saw today in our writing that we want to point out. Russia. Um, like we say normal colors mm -hmm. and it's the type is adjective. Yes, so the adjective comes after the noun that it's describing. So they're flip flops. Anything else? Going once? Going twice? Hurry up! It's done. She's gonna be a perfectionist. Okay. Well while she finishes her perfectionism, we're gonna say first. Oh, grab a pencil. Cinco preguntas. Escribe tu nombre y uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco preguntas. So what do you need to write on your paper? Nombre, what is that? Name. And uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco? Well, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right on the on the side that's blank. There you go. You can go back to your spot if you're done. Numero uno. I'm going to ask you either or questions. I don't care how you spell as long as I can tell what words you're trying to use. Okay, and you can say it in English or in Spanish. Doesn't matter to me, whichever is easier. El aguacate es grande o enorme? Grande o enorme? Numero dos. El centro del avocado es verde o café? El centro es verde o café? Número tres. La cara del avocado, aguacate, la cara, está en el centro o está arriba? La cara está en el centro o está arriba? <coughs> Número cuatro. El avocate está emocionado o enojado? El avocate está emocionado o enojado? El aguacate está. The feeling that you just wrote down before. I don't want to give it away. Por qué es guacamole? Oh no, es guacamole. I almost gave you an answer. El aguacate está. The feeling that you said it was. Por qué es guacamole? Oh no, es guacamole. Grab a correcting pen or highlighter, whatever, I don't care. Season X is put a minus at the top. Numero uno, what did you write? Enorme. Enorme or enormous, I don't care. English or Spanish is fine. Numero dos, what did you write? Yay. Yes, the center is green, verde. Numero tres, what did you write? Arriba. Yes, arriba, the face is up high, the above. Numero cuatro? Emocionado. Yes. Excited. Emocionado. Numero cinco? No. no. Nah, he's not guacamole. All right, put a minus on there. Please cast them into the middle. My collectors, I'm going to have you collect those. Which one? Who's collecting? Us two. No, not both of you. One of you. And I need the other one to pass things out. I got it. All right, Peyton is going to pass out a new participation sheet. You should have passed your quizzes into the middle. Peyton is going to pass out a new participation sheet. While you are filling that out, I'm going to get our drawing ready to reveal. Oh, what? You should not stop it yet. Okay. But you can put it in the middle so we can see the cool drawing. I haven't in even looked middle. at it yet. It's done. 
Josh. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, and bring it over there. Chill. Trey, get out of the way. I love it. I love it. Okay. Don't, I hey, love it. It's awesome. Hold on, hold on. I'm waiting for... It's so awesome. I love it so much. Pitch and move. Always have been fantastic. Okay. That's okay. All right. Boom, drum roll for the okay. 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 Yeah, it's a 